Hi, this is a follow-up video, one year on from owning the Chinese Rhinoceros Mini Digger. Right, well I can say for a start, this machine to me is really good for the money. I've had it a year now, I've put about 8 hours on it, uh, it's been out in all weathers. I do garage it every night, it's never left outside. And if it has been raining, I do take a cloth over it and just dry the machine off. And I think that's why the paint is in good nick. Uh, there's no flaky bits of paint on it at all. It's, it's really good. Uh, it starts every time I've went to it, even today, which it was minus 10, it started no problem. And it has not got a glow plug. So, to be honest, today I thought, nah, I'm never going to get this thing started. But, yeah, fired up, no problem, which is great. This machine also digs really well. I mean, for its size and its price point, it's absolutely fantastic. Uh, I've never stalled out with it yet trying to dig something up, which is great. It's quite stable as well when you're using it. You put the black blade down, it's fine. Um, not had any problems with it wanting to tip or anything like that. I use it a lot for logs, uh, lifting bits of trees up and stuff like that. I've used it as well for a crane for lifting stuff in and out the back of the van, which is great. The fine movements on it are really good. Uh, once you get used to the controls, it's not a problem at all. Uh, the minus points are, as you can see here, it's very slow when you're moving it. When you're tracking back and forward, it's okay over a short distance. But on a long distance, like if I'm going from here up the up the farm to the top end of the farm, it takes forever. So you've got to kind of put that in with it. Although I've never tried it um, against the micro CB, I might have to try and do that. The other thing is as well, it's a little bit noisy. Uh, so a set of headphones on or something like that might be better if you're using it like that. But what I use it for use normally is a bit of drainage, cleaning the ground up. Uh, I've done a couple of small plats for sheds uh, and lifting stuff up and down and in and out the van and it's been absolutely fantastic. I don't know what it would be like if you would use it every day wholesale but I'm pretty good with it so very happy. One last thing before I go. The reason I decided to buy a Chinese digger instead of a second hand machine was the price point. Uh, a second hand machine at this price would have been getting on for 20 years of age and would have had numerous problems with it. I would have spent more time under it than sitting on it. So, so far, I've been lucky, the machines went really well. If I do have any issues, I will make a video and post it here. So stay tuned. Cheers.